Kelly Ho, all listeners and watchers. Today, we are going to be fighting in the gardens, brewing beer. We will get them on the beaches. We are going to be doing a Churchill Mark I brew kit, especially on our website. We're just hoping that you all enjoy it. So Ben's mashing in. What's this one, Ben? Churchill. Churchill. Very hefty grain bill. It is. Well, about four and a bit key. Well, it might not be hefty for some people, but five percent beer is a bit strong on our yeah, our list, isn't it? So yeah. It's really nice thick mash. Some really nice thick mash this. Give it a good stir. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like porridge. So we'll let this mash for an hour and then we'll come back to you. Churchill's done. Mash is done. Churchill is done. Smells really good. Yummy. Yummy. We're going for a cold water spa, aren't we? Yeah. Good Ooh. job. Good job you're tall, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah. I couldn't do that. I'd have to lift it above my head. <laughs> Let that drain out and then we're going to cold water spa. We haven't got anything to heat it up with sadly. So, put a double vessel in it today. Yep. Right, so we've got 60 minute hot. Just tight the boil. That's going in. As always on Bruzilla, we're using the hot spider to stop any blockages. Uh, next addition is 10 minutes, then we've got a well, well pull and then we've got a dry off. So, here we are, 10 minute addition. With the old Churchill. EKG and Bremling Cross. Beautiful. Does it smell the piffest? No, it doesn't smell too bad actually. It's quite fruity. Yeah. It's the Bramlin, isn't it? It's the Bramlin. Yeah. She's my favourite. If you didn't know us by now. <laughs> and she goes. Get Shout this. out to Peter who's just ordered Bramlin Cross pale off us. Yeah. That should just come through while we're doing this brew. Get away for that. For, 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 do it for the gram. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. Right gents, so it's all done. Just need to transfer now. <laughs> yeah. It's all done. It's so if you need to. Yeast of choice for this one. Standard. SO4. Cross my loop. Bit bitty. Bit what? Bit bitty. 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 <laughs> Pills in there. Little pills. Yeah. Hey, it's a night, it's a lovely afternoon. Evening. Turned out nice, isn't it? Oh, she smells. Yeah, so. We're going to be dry hopping on day three during active fermentation. Yeah. Just to stop the ingress of oxygen. How big's the dry off again? 60 grams. 60 grams dry off. Just over two ounces. Yeah, and this is going on cask as we said, it's going in our pan. Yeah, our pan. We've got the right tubing now for the uh, the aspirator. Yeah, so, so it'll be able to hold longer than three days. Yeah. That's probably the best flow we've ever had on the Bruzilla coming out. Yeah, Locked because we floor. use the spider. Yeah, it is. <laughs> right, so um, straight in the bucket, straight in the fermentator. 
plenty in the tank. Plenty in the tank. It's in you. Two thousand years later. New character unlocked. Here we have Aaron, Fen's uh, brother. Are you ready? Yeah, go for it. That's going a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, just keep working it hard. Harder. Hit it, man. Oh! Hit it, Aaron! Hit it! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, welcome back to another Tanker Brewing video. To the left of me, or right of me, I've got Aaron, my little brother, who's 19. He's a new character that we've managed to unlock along the way <laughs> since we've levelled up <coughs> to over 650 subscribers. That's it. You've seen footage before of us brewing our new kit, which is Churchill, which is a lovely English IPA. Don't good, nice make. good looking one, if you ask me, isn't it? Ah, she's pretty. Mm. She is. Um, yeah, so we had a bit of fun when it comes to tapping it, because I didn't forget oh. to tell Aaron that he needed to put a spile in the top. Uh, and then all that pressure that had built up from the secondary fermentation just kind of exited it his way towards him. Um, Went everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got a good couple of clips from that, so that'll do us. Yeah. Anything for the video footage. That's it. Uh, so, are we gonna? What do you think on colour? I like Looks it. Looks nice, mate. Right? Looks Colours good. Brown, golden. Browny amber. Yeah. We haven't tried it yet, have we? We've Smell literally wise. just poured these off. Trying it, obviously. Now Aaron keeps trying it along the way. We'll, <laughs> we'll get his opinion after. But yeah, smell wise. It smells like a nice ale, did it? Yeah. You can definitely get the brambling cross out of that yeah. one. And then. You get the yeast as well, don't you? Yeah. It's nice. And the SO4 that we use with it. Mm hmm. We might as well try it, haven't we? Yeah. A lot of people hang about sniffing it and looking at it like weirdos, <laughs> but we might as well just try it. So, let's so all have a try. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like it looks. It's good. Say good. Yeah, very good. I like it. The Bramlin cost is definitely prominent in this. 100%. And what a hop that is. Yeah. We've said multiple times now that it's one of our favourite hops, isn't it? We think it's a very mm. slept on hop. Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. If anything, we might have been overusing it a little bit. <laughs> but it's just his favourite, so. Yeah. I can't really uh, a change from that. Aaron, what do you think of it? Mm. Would you buy it in pub? Definitely would. Yeah. Mm. Good lad. Very nice tasting, very smooth, not too strong. Yeah. Good. Well, so we haven't paid him a roll. I ain't <laughs> chucked him a tenner for saying that, so. Uh, yeah. Just take it as a good third party opinion. Yeah. yeah, I'm pleased with how that's come out. We took a bit of a gamble on it, didn't we? Yeah, we so, did. So, really pleased with how that's turned out. And I think the, the Bramling Cross served on really... cask, as we said. Yeah. I think the Bramling Cross really stands out in it as well. Does. And then definitely got the earthiness from East Kent Goldings. Bit of depth in there. Uh, nice little strength <laughs> to it. Excuse mm. me. Excuse you. <laughs> nice little strength to it. I just think it's lovely. Yeah. yeah. And I was a bit worried about it at first because it's most hops we've used inside uh, the cask and obviously inside our kits. So I was a bit worried, you know, maybe I've gone too far with it. Am I going to extract gra grassiness or something yeah. like that? And we haven't. And no, it's just, beautiful. it's a really good English IPA and it's really slept on. Same as bitters as well. It is. Which we keep banging on the door about, but people, you know. The, the tie's changed, everybody likes gold beer now, so... Yeah. But don't ever forget your heritage. Um, and that is heritage, isn't it? Yeah, so we're really happy with that. Yeah, it's available on the website as a kit. I'll yeah. put the website up here. Um, I, I think everyone should try it, especially yeah. if you've got access to a hand pump. And anyone who has got a hand pump should definitely try it. Definitely. You know, you can drink your IPAs and everything like that, but mm. go back to your heritage. Try yeah. it out, and we have got the aspirator on, so it's going to last longer than three days. Yeah, we finally got it hooked up. So I might, I might have a, a cast beer for a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put some photos in um, the Facebook group, Tanker Brewing the group. If you're not in there, then join. We're having a right crack in there. Aren't yeah, we? great mm. bunch of lads. We've nearly got fifty right people lads. in there yeah. now, so it's slowly building each day. If we can it get is. all the subs in there, then. Maybe we can get a group chat going finally. Hopefully, if when Facebook, Facebook lets, us. lets us, yeah. 
So we'll leave the video there. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got a cask, let us know how you use it, what beers you do in it. Just drop it in the comments down below. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, and as we said, comment. So cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers.